everyone welcome to simply learns youtube channel today we will learn about the role level security in power bi that said if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified craving a career upgrade subscribe like and comment below dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions whether you're making a switch or aiming higher simply learn has your back Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data analytics, and land your dream job, or grow a new career, then you must explore SimplyLearn's good of various data analytics programs. SimplyLearn offers postgraduate programs from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, Let's get started with what is role level security in Power BI. Now imagine that you're working in an organization and you have different subordinates. Let's say you are the creator of this entire data dashboard or if you are the manager and you have some subordinates. So they might be of a different designation which is lower to yours and they might have subordinates in the leaf node level or the lowest level right so they might not have complete access to your data set let's say you are dealing with six or seven dashboards so you'll have access to everything and your subordinates might have to deal with only two of those dashboards let's say the sales which are happening in west region and east region so their subordinates might have only access to few stores let's say if the person working with the best zone has two subordinates then he might have access to two or three different stores which are available in the west zone right you're getting my point correct so you might have access to all the five zones your subordinates might have to deal with individual zones and their subordinates might have to deal with individual stores that is the level of hierarchy divides the accessibility to the data you have so you're given this uh, accessibility because you don't want to mess up the whole data set your subordinates might not have an idea how a data dashboard of the data set is working or they might you know some reasons due to some reasons there is this role security implemented on power bi now let's have a check on this role security or rls and power bi in a practical demonstration now we will be dealing with the same uh, superstore data set so we will be trying to create individual role level securities for different zones of sales that we have in our data set and we can have a view how it really works now let's quickly switch back to power bi so that you have a better understanding on what exactly i mean about role level security yeah we are on our uh, sales dashboard on the data set that we'll be dealing with the sales data set now this particular dashboard has all the five regions so here you can see central north south east west so this is the overall sales dashboard this deals with the uh, sales order month on month and uh, sales based on country sales based on category sales based on subcategory and here we also have the kpis the total quantity of products sold the total sales total discount being offered and the total profit that we have earned right now this is an overall dashboard this is the dashboard that you have access to as a manager let's say now you want to distribute or divide or you know segregate the accessibility based on zone so that your support needs work on those only zones or you know focus on the zones which are provided to them so that they don't have to deal with the entire dashboard that you are dealing with now that can be done by using the role of security go to modeling option here and here you have manage roles so click on manage roles and you have access to provide the role of security now you can create a new role here 
let's create a new role now name the role as Adam for North and uh, let's create another one Jennifer for South John for West Ramsey for East Umar for Central Correct. Now we have created five rows. Now let's provide Adam with the North data. So here you can just double click on data, add a filter, and go to region. And in region, you can provide the value as North. There you go. So your tax expression is perfect, no errors. You can just click on save and a new region for north has been created just go back to manage rules and uh, try to apply this to everyone add new filter go to region and uh, we're giving jennifer the south region and uh, for john we are giving west region and for kumar we are giving the central region and ramsey the last one will be dealing with east region you can save there you go now you have applied the role level securities to individual employees working on individual zones now just to quickly check if they are working or not you can quickly save the current dashboard and it is done here you have a view option you can just click on view and here you have all the views that you created right now you can just click on Adam for North region and your dashboard will change and it will give you the sales happening for North region. Similarly, if you go on checking for different roles, you have different regions. So that's how you can create the role level security. And when it comes to the end user, if you want to give this particular role level security or access to that particular zone to your end user you can just publish your dashboard and all your role level securities to your microsoft power bi service and you can provide the access so that's how basically the role level security works in power bi and with that we have reached the end of this session on what exactly is role level security or rls in power bi and should you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the dashboard data set or any other resources used in this session please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.